for my full length video on John 8:58, please see the link below. This video is the short and quick facts. Friends, welcome back. In this video, I would like to present the facts, the quick facts, that is, regarding John 8, 58. What did Jesus mean when he said, before Abraham was, I am? Let's have a look. Your father Abraham rejoiced that he was to see the time of my coming. He saw it and was glad. You are not even 50 years old, and you have seen Abraham! <laughs> I am telling you the truth! Before Abraham was born, I am. Then they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and left the temple. What did Jesus mean? Before Abraham was born, I am. I will show you by presenting the biblical facts how John 8.58 has yet again been used wrongly as another great deception by countless false teachers who have deceived most into believing Jesus was saying he was God and that he was alive before Abraham, pre-existing his flesh. To teach is to learn. Let's turn to John 4, 25, 26, because there we find the simple answer to what Jesus meant by saying, before Abraham was, I am. I know that the Messiah will come. And when he comes, he will tell us everything. I am he. I who am talking with you. Back to John 8, 58. The Greek word in John 8, 58 for I am is ego emi. and is identical to the Greek word in John 4, 26, and is again, I am, ego emi. We now move back to the previous verse in John 4, 25. When he comes, he will tell us everything. I am he. I who am talking with you. As we see, Jesus confirms to the Samaritan woman, he is the Messiah, the Christ, by simply saying the Greek word, ego emi, meaning I am he. 
Now we know what Jesus meant by saying, I am he, meaning he is the Messiah. Let's examine the word Messiah. As we see, the Trinitarians themselves give us the answer to what Messiah means. And means the Anointed One, Christ. Warning! And never ever means I am God. Are you crazy? Gotcha. Now, in the same verse, just a few words later, the Samaritan woman tells Jesus she is waiting for the Christ to come. And as we know, Jesus confirms to her, I am he, the Messiah and the Christ. And what does Christ mean? Well, as we see again, the Trinitarians give us the answer and means the Anointed One, the Messiah, the Christ. Warning! Never ever means I am God. Are you crazy? Gotcha. We now come to more biblical facts. I am is in the Bible over 700 times and never ever means I am God. Even children understand the blind man was saying, it's me, I am the one, the person who was blind. And the blind man used the same identical Greek word, I am. Ego Emmy. I am never ever means Jesus was alive before he was born. I am Simon Brown, which never ever means I am God, or that I was alive before I was born. Notice how Jesus did not say to the Samaritan woman, I am God. I know that the Messiah will come. And when he comes, he will tell us everything. I am he. I who am talking with you. Notice how Jesus did not say to the Jews before Abraham was, I am God. Before Abraham was born. I am.
I am is not a secret code or the actual name of God. It is actually given a meaning to the word Yahweh. See comment below by Mr. Dudley on the link. Just as I am is given a meaning to Jesus' teachings, meaning I am the one. Jesus was simply saying to the Jews, before Abraham was, I am, the chosen one, the Messiah, I am he, who was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last days for the sake of you. 1 Peter 1.20 This teaching by Jesus is so very simple to understand and yet most do not understand what Jesus meant in John 8, 58 and have been deceived into believing that Jesus was teaching he was God or that he was alive with God before all creation and yet Jesus did not even say he saw Abraham but said in John 8 56 your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day he saw it and was glad Jesus was simply confirming to the Jews that he already existed in God's mind and plan before Abraham was born and this can be seen in many scriptures like Acts 2 22 to 3 men of Israel hear these words Jesus of Nazareth a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst as you yourselves know this Jesus delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men acts to 22 3 this adds up perfectly with the lexicon translation which clearly reveals the I am ego emi the definition here means I am the one, I exist, meaning Jesus already existed in God's mind and plan as president. Jesus is considered as first priority in importance, order and rank, which is confirmed by John the Baptist in John 1.15 and John 1.30 which is again why we read in Colossians 1.17 Jesus is before all things who is the chosen Messiah. Very sadly the rebellious Jews often did not believe Jesus teachings and therefore did not understand Jesus and instead wanted him dead buried and out the way. So they could get back to conning people in the temple. And very sadly, this misunderstanding and unbelief of Jesus' teachings has continued throughout most of Christianity to this very day.
all good things must come to an end. End of story. Thank you. 